Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on exposing South Pussy, South Flaw, South Ho Boxing. You understand what I'm saying? This man is so in love with Canelo Alvarez. He wanted to be Canelo Alvarez so bad, right? Because his boxing career didn't go nowhere, bro. South Flaw, your boxing career went nowhere, bro. You are a 40-year-old amateur. You know how embarrassing that is? Listen, to be a 40-year-old amateur getting punched in your goddamn face like this, I know it got to hurt. Listen, it got to hurt. Look, getting punched in your face like this and being a 40-year-old amateur hurt worse than them seven bullets that shot my eyes up and put me in a wheelchair. You hear me, South Law? I know your pride is destroyed, bro. You understand me? Your pride is destroyed. That's why every time you go home to your wife, you sit your ass there, you don't know what to say at times. Oh, honey, I'm going to the gym, honey. Baby, I'm going to the gym. You're going to the gym. Get your big faggot ass up and go look for a job. You know what I'm saying? She looking like, honey, um, the gym is not paying any bills. Um, last time I checked, um, <laughs> the gym is for real fighters. South floor, South pussy, South hoe. The gym is for real fighters. and Not for 40-year-old amateurs that want to go there and pretend like they're a fucking fighter. Bro, you are a pretender. A pretender. Shouts out to IBFP for roasting and cooking your ass. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my bro IBFP for roasting and cooking your ass. I was going to take a few sound bites out of IBFP situation. I know my brother went to mind. But shouts out to IBFP for roasting your ass. You are disgraced because of your face. You are disgraced because of your race. No, South Flaw. You are disgraced because of your place. You feel me? You send your 40 year old ass inside a boxing gym, right? Waiting on a civilian to walk in to try to prove you are a real boxer. Boy, you are trash ass, trash ass, garbage juice. Hey, IBFP, give me one time. You are garbage juice. I need that IBFP soundbite, man. Listen, this boy is South Flaw, y'all. This boy sit his ass in the gym day in, day out, fighting children, regular civilians, and try to call himself a fighter. I really box. I box. No, you don't box, motherfucker. You sit your ass in the gym. You are a pad wiper and a floor sweeper. You feel me? You sweep floors. You wipe the pads off. And you wait for an opportunity for somebody to walk inside that gym. For you. Oh, I'll glove up. I'll glove up. Looking ass. Man, something's wrong with you, bro. You are off your rocket, bro. You are off your rocket. South Flaw, cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Listen, being 40 years of age, bro, sitting inside a gym... Um, we're an amateur girl. Talking about you going to fight some damn kids in a goddamn um, amateur tournaments or some shit. You a 40 year old man fighting kids in amateur tournaments, bro. Talking about I'm trying to go win. I'm going to try to win the Golden Gloves. Mother told me South, South Flaw said he's going to win the Golden Gloves. You South Pussy, if they let your 40 year old ass sign up to fight a fucking 16 year old kid, that's just despicable, bro. That says a lot about you and, and how far you're willing to go to do some stupid shit to try to make yourself look good, bro. Now, let's get on him hating on Canelo Alvarez. This man sit around and hate on Canelo Alvarez so much because he wants to be Canelo Alvarez, everybody. He wish he was Mexican, right? He wish he was Mexican. We all know all the Mexicans ran the train on your mama, right? My dude, IBFP, put it out there. All the Mexicans ran the train on your mama. When you was a little kid, you had to peep through the door, see your mama getting ran, right? Hurt your feelings. And, and ever since then, you grew up with, I hate Mexicans in your fucking heart, right? Stop being mad because Mexicans are some of the most loyal fans in boxing, bitch, and they don't like you. You feel me? Mexicans are some of the most loyal fans in boxing, and you took your little punk ass to an amateur tournament and got your ass whooped, and they booed you, right? And it broke your heart. We all know you are you you run around here with a broken heart, bro. Old South Flaw got a broken heart. You feel me? Old South Flaw need all the sympathy in the world. 40-year-old ass amateur, bro. Shitty ass, he got the worst shoulder roll to known to mankind. You got the worst shoulder roll known to mankind, bro. What the fuck did you be doing in that ring? Jumping up off your feet? Boy, listen, I can't wait till you spar somebody that's a real professional fighter that's going to beat the fuck out of you. I'm not talking about no old washed up ass mans that got brain damage and shit like that. We need you to walk inside a gym with some real professional fighters that's active, right, that really fights. That's active so they can beat the shit out of you and show you your wide punch throwing ass is nobody. This boy keep his head straight up. He punches so wide. He pushes punches. Talking about he's a fighter. You ain't no goddamn fighter. Cut it out. Now, you're jealous because you can never be Canelo Alvarez, bro. 
You would never in your life, South Paul, you would never in your life amount to a, a tenth of what Canelo Alvarez accomplished in the ring. You feel me? A 15-year-old Canelo Alvarez will beat the fuck out of you. A 15-year-old Canelo Alvarez will beat the fuck out of you. He was beating fighters like you when he was, what, probably 13 years of age, right? He turned professional at 15, bro. That man will break your fucking neck at 15. 15. You dig me? 15. You will never become a world champion. You will never touch a professional ring. Somebody show me what this man is a professional. Show me, South Like You keep talking about, I'm a boxer. I'm a boxer. I box. I box. Show me that you are a professional. What is your record? Can I Google you? Right? Are you on box rec? I don't see you on box rec nowhere. Nowhere, bro. Because your ass will be an O and a hundred. Zero and 100. That's how terrible you are. Boy, you worse than Charlie Zenoff. Charlie Zenoff will whoop your ass. That's how I feel. Charlie Zenoff will beat the fuck out of South Paul. Wide throwing ass. This boy don't have no skills, no hand feet coordination, no nothing. No IQ, no head movement, no defense, no. Man, you, you're the epitome of ass juice. Bullshit fighter. You're a fucking backyard grappler. That's what you are. A backyard grappler, bro. You would never amount to shit inside that square circle. Nothing. Nathan. Nada. You feel me? The best thing you got going is talking this shit on YouTube. That's it. That's the best thing you got going is trying to talk boxing on YouTube. Because you amount to a fighter inside that square circle. Child, please. Your ass will be murdered inside that ring. You will be murdered inside that ring, bro. Now, you want to be Canelo Alvarez so bad, bro. You sit up, right? You talk about this man day in, day out. You talk about Canelo Alvarez more than we talk about Canelo Alvarez. You're mad because how the man look. You're mad because how the man dress. You hate his walk. You hate his talk. You hate his accolades. You hate everything about him. So the best thing you can do is try to discredit, cuss him out, try to talk about his people and shit like that because you really want to be that man, bro. You really want to be Canelo Alvarez. You wish... You wish you accomplished one-tenth of what Canelo Alvarez accomplished, bro. You wish you accomplished one-tenth of what Canelo Alvarez accomplished. You would never accomplish a win in the professional rankings. You won't have not one win in the professional rankings, bro. You would never be qualified as a professional fighter because you won't pass. You won't pass as a professional fighter. And the day you turn professional, please let me know because I will pay to be front row at your first fight to see you get your punk ass knocked out like you were just getting punched in your face and, and, and fucking spawn against whomever that was just knocking your ass around. You're always trying to show clips of you doing something good. Show when you're getting your ass beat. That's what you need to show. You terrible ass fighter. Show when you're getting your ass beat, bro. Period. You feel me? Show ain't getting your ass beat. Because I know somewhere in that gym, them dudes beating the shit out of you. Or oh, let me take that out. Let me edit that. Let me edit that, baby. Can you edit this for me, baby? Please don't show them punching me in my fucking face. Why would you show them punching me in my fucking face? You look like you whoop your woman day in, day out. You look like you just walk into the house with an attitude and just punch her right in her fucking mouth for no apparent reason, bro. No apparent reason. She afraid to leave you because she think you might kill her. You look like one of them psycho motherfuckers that will kill your wife if she tell you she go leave you, bro. Period. You got that woman held hostage in that home. She's held hostage in that home. That's why you don't never show her. She's probably tied up when you're talking to her. You you probably bathing a woman, feeding a woman. I know you want to leave me, honey. I can't let it happen. Your family continue to call. I tell them that you're doing okay looking ass fighter. You dig what I'm saying? You have to cut it out, bro. You have to cut it out. My dude, IBFP, bodied your ass. I already bodied your ass. The shit you talk about, you don't have no facts on. You dig? All you can say is, oh, my God, I passed you guys up in one year. I passed you guys, which is not true. That's just false. Like, if we really want to get technical and I break this shit down, that's false as well. But that has nothing to do with nothing, huh? Right? This just exposing the pussy for being a pussy and really wanted to be Canelo Alvarez when he came. Now, I'm going to extend the olive branch for him to come back on the channel. To come back on the channel, right, if he's feeling froggy, if you're feeling froggy, you can come back on the channel so I can expose your ass, just like Nuke exposed your ass, you feel me? Your boxing knowledge is trash, ass, garbage juice, right? You sit up, you hate on Canelo Alvarez all day because you want to be the man, right? You look at his girlfriend and say, God damn, why my woman don't look like that, you feel me? You don't have the money Canelo Alvarez got. Like I say, you never achieve anything inside the square circle because you'll never be a professional fighter 
ever in your life be a professional fighter. Under your ass will be as a pad wiper and a floor sweeper, right? You will be a spawn. You will be a civilian spawn partner for the rest of your life from here on out. A civilian spawn partner for the rest of your life here on out. And please do not give boxing advice to them children around Chicago. Let them kids be great. Let them kids be great. They don't need no advice from your sorry ass. You feel me? You never mounted to shit in an amateur, so you know you never mounted to shit as a professional. So please don't try to get them kids no advice in Chicago. When you see them kids, let them go by. The main thing you can do is get them a couple dollars and send them on their way. Period, bro. Period. Don't try to teach nobody how to throw a jab, a left hook, a one, two, a three, or four, or five, or a six. You feel me? Don't teach nobody how to throw a one, two, three, four, five, or a six. Your ass is garbage, dude. You don't even know how to throw punches. You don't even know how to throw a correct jab. You don't know how to throw a correct uppercut. Your hooks are so wide, it's pathetic, bro. It's pathetic. Your hooks are so wide, it's pathetic. Like I said, I can't wait to see the day where you spoil a real professional fighter that's very active and that's winning. That's winning because they go beat the fuck out of you. And hopefully that change your fucking mind. Well, I know it ain't going to change your mindset because you're a retarded dumb motherfucker. But hopefully give you some type of wisdom to tell you that I'm not really a fighter. I'm not. I'm not really a fighter. I am ass trash. Ass trash and I'm still trying to live out my dream that I had when I was younger. It's over with, man. Cut it out. Stick to talking boxing on YouTube. Stop showing them shitty ass clips in the gym because that shit ain't getting you nowhere. You're not progressing. You're not getting better. You're getting worse. <laughs> You're getting worse. And that's sad. Pretty sad. So, your punk ass is invited to the channel if you want to come on and debate so I can eat your ass alive, right? Me and Nuke just go bounce your ass back and forth like a basketball, beating the shit out of you, making you look like a goddamn fool, and sending you on your way. Let that woman go, you sorry son of a bitch. Let her go. She don't want you no more, bro. She don't. Stop going to them gyms. Stop embarrassing yourself. Leave them civilians alone. It's not helping you. It's not benefiting you. Take your medicine, please. Take your medicine, bro, and just relax. Relax. You dig? Watch boxing. Enjoy it. Quit hating, right? Quit hating because it's getting you nowhere. And once again, take your medicine, man. You feel me? Y'all know what it is. This your boy, Monty. This is the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Train the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status on this corny ass dude.